Hello everybody, welcome to Yandina's Yummies. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make mini braided apple pies. I will list all these ingredients in the description below and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoy. We'll start by preparing the apples. You'll need six to seven of your favorite apples. Here I'm using a mix of Granny Smith and Red Gala apples, but you can use any apples you like. Peel the apples, remove the cores and dice them up. If you don't use all your apples straight away, drizzle a little lemon juice on them to stop them from browning. For the next step, you'll need to bring some water to the boil, carefully tip in the chopped apples and simmer them for approximately 5-7 to seven minutes, stirring occasionally. Once your apples are soft but not falling apart, drain them and set them aside. Now, let's make the yummy sauce. Using a deep fry pan over a medium heat, add in your hot water, caster sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, ground nutmeg, allspice and a dash of salt. Then mix all the ingredients together. Once the sugar and spices have dissolved, blend in the cornflour paste. Now, the cornflour is a thickening agent. The longer it sits, the thicker your sauce will become. So, once your sauce is starting to simmer, pour in your chopped apples very carefully and then mix the apples and the sauce together, then add in your raisins. Allow your mixture to simmer stirring occasionally for about 10 minutes. While the sauce is simmering, I just wanted to share a little bit of information with you. I've recently had dentistry work done, so this is why I'm slurring, and this is why I was wearing a face mask at the beginning of this video, so I apologize. Anyway, while you're here, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you don't miss any more of my videos where I'll be sharing with you a lot of how-to and tips and tricks. Once your sauce is looking like this, thick and sticky, we can pull it off the stove and set it aside. Now here, I'm going to teach you how to make an egg wash. You're going to need milk, one egg and a pastry brush. Crack the egg open into a small bowl, whisk it with a fork and add a dash of milk. Pretty simple, right? Well, to prepare the pastry for the apple braided pie, all we needed was frozen puff pastry from the local supermarket. Let the puff pastry sheets thaw on your countertop at room temperature. Cut your puff pastry into four equal squares. Well, I didn't use a ruler, so they're roughly squares. Anyway, grab yourself a baking tray, line it with baking paper, and put it aside. With each square, we're going to be peeling off the baking paper and rotating it into a diamond shape. Cut an equal amount of strips down each side of the diamond. Spoon a little bit of your apple sauce down the center of the pastry, making sure to leave a gap at each end. Fold over the top and bottom flaps, gently tucking them in to hold all the filling in place and keep it from falling out. We're going to be overlapping these strips of puff pastry, creating this adorable braid pattern. Don't forget to brush the ends of the puff pastry with the egg wash. Now keep going until every single one of them is done. tops of each one with the egg wash that we made earlier. Sprinkle on a little sugar and then put it into the oven. Now my oven is preheated to 190 degrees celsius. You're going to want to bake them for approximately 20 to 25 minutes until they all look beautifully golden on top. Mmm don't these look yummy. Now you can serve your apple pies with some ice cream, maple syrup, raspberry sauce, all with a cherry on top. Mmm, so good. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of my yummy videos. And thanks for watching Yandina's Yummy. Goodbye.